Uh, I'm thinking about the Voigt Comp test. You know, the, the Voigt Comp test? Do you know who Andrew Dick is? Uh, so, the Voigt Comp test is to find out if a synthetic human being, um, the difference between a synthetic human being and a, a regular human being, is uh, a sense of uh, compassion. Um, kind of a grounded sense, kind of like, but a lot of this is a grounded cultural sense of, of right and wrong and what you should do if this happens. So a synthetic human being uh, doesn't grow up with a bunch of children, um, amongst a bunch of families, uh, experiencing the trials and tribulations of, uh, of puberty and uh, young adulthood and that kind of thing. Like. They just suddenly are an adult without all the, the basic drives. But the, where the Voigt Comp test breaks down is these synthetic human beings have a, almost a need to fill in those gaps. Like they feel the emptiness. Um, you know, like they're, they're very aware of why they fail the test. And, uh, and that's, that's, kind of what separates them. Like, they look the same as human beings. They behave in many of the same ways. Um, but what fundamentally might make the difference between being accepted, which I believe is what the drive to have a history is, to be accepted is, to have a history is, is to have some sort of commonality uh, with the rest of the beings around you. Be synthetic or natural born, if your past is cut away from you, you're still going to count as a synth synthetic. So the Voigt Comp test would 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 show that you're a synthetic human being. When really it's just you might have a severance uh, from your past, or your past might be abhorrent to you. There's some people that have, I mean, almost a form of amnesia when they think about their past. So I was thinking about. Uh, the future test. How you know somebody, how would you test for synthetic uh, humanity? And you might ask them if they could predict the future. And you might you might do it in a series of questions. Say, you know, like, uh, Jack and Jill went up the hill, you know, to fetch a pail of water. Um, you might say, what are some, what are some of the future possibilities that Jack and Jill might encounter. Now, if you've only been alive, a synthetic human being, if you've only been alive four years, uh, the basis that you might draw upon for all the, all the permutations of what might happen to Jack and Jill going up the hill to fetch a pail of water, um, they're gonna be limited. Limited to your life experience. And say, if it's not limited to your life experience, say that in those four years, uh, you were, uh, you know, a literary uh, a genius, you were just like nothing but reading, um, it would still not be your particular life experience. But then I also wonder about synthetic human beings, like somebody might behave in a way that then there's consequences, uh, really undesirable consequences, and you might want to ask that human being, did nothing in your entire life experience lead you to believe that those steps you were taking would lead you straight to this uh, calamity? Um, the effect of your actions, the process of your decisions were bound to lead you to this point. Can you see that? And that would be the future test. Uh, like the Voigt Comp test. Like a turtle is flipped over on its back in the desert in the hot, hot sun, and you're standing there looking at it. What do you do? And you, know, you flip it over. It's going to die on its back, and it can't help itself. Uh, but, you know, a river is flooding. The water's halfway up the street signs. You need to get from where you are at on one side of the river uh, to the other half. Uh, and you're sitting in your car. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh. You need to get a jacket. Uh, what do you do? You know? 
in the case of like if you drive straight into this flooded road even though you could look off to the side and see get an estimation of just how deep it is um, does that prove you're a synthetic human being because it's it's obviously deeper than your car so I don't know I don't know like maybe like something that is, is beyond your life experience you've never seen a flooded road before so you think well I'll just drive through it um, but couldn't you say can't you predict the future do you do you really need to know that if the road is covered in six to ten feet of water at least from what you can see right there uh, do you really need to have experience with that in the past to be able to predict the future where you drive your car across it and your car literally floats until it sinks I don't know is it a good test or not the future test or is the Voigt comp test still the best option <laughs>